Hey everyone, Hot Wheels Collector here, coming to you with another Hot Wheels haul. This time it's from Target. So let's see what we got today. For starters, we got the H2Go Hot Wheels. This is number 5 of 10 of the Hot Wheels Rescues. I saw this and I was like, kind of questioning. I'm like, you know, I don't normally collect boats, but you know what? This one actually looked kind of cool, so I wanted to get it. So I got it. Let's take out the packaging and take a closer look at it. After taking out a packaging, it looks pretty cool for a speedboat. It has rescue written on top here. It has number 68 on the hood with rescue. So, I mean, overall, pretty cool looking uh, boat car. And it does have wheels on the bottom. So, I don't know if it floats, but I know it does roll. So... Well, that's cool for the first car. The next one we got is another Hot Wheels. This is from the Dead and Now series. This is the Toyota Land Cruiser 80. So let's take out a packaging, take a closer look. When you take it out of packaging, I notice that it does have headlights and a full on grill in the front. It has nice detailing on the side. Nothing on the back though. But on the driver's side, it has the same exact side of, or same graphics as the passenger side, and the hood is actually just bare. So, and I also pulled out the um, other version, which was the Treasure Hunt of the series of the Denal series, which is the uh, let me get the bottom of this. Uh, it just says Toyota Land Cruiser, but this is the older version. And this is the newer version of the Land Cruiser. They both share the same color paint scheme. And they're, they're pretty cool right next to each other as well for, like, a older version and a newer version of the Toyota Land Cruiser. And then the next few cars are actually matchboxes because I couldn't really find too many Hot Wheels because the Hot Wheels stock that they had was pretty outdated. I mean, I did find those, but, I mean, other than that, most of them were, were gone at my store. So... The first one we got for a matchbox is a 1936 Ford Coupe. This coupe is actually a really nice coupe. The only downfall thing is, is that if you look in the picture, it shows solid hubcaps. And I know that, that you can't have solid hubcaps because of the way how they put the wheels on the cars. But it would have been cool to see those type of rims on these types of cars. So let's take out a package and take a close look at it. After taking out the packaging, there's hardly any design on it other than it does have painted headlights and um, secondary lights and a nice painted grill on it. But outside of that, it's very bare for coloring. It's like a factory stock car. And it has a really small, small diaphragm to it. I mean, it's only a two-door doesn't even have open doors to it so i mean overall it's a classic car so i mean i can't really be too upset with it i would like it to see it if it was in a different color though because this color is kind of a little bleh in coloring i would like to see this if it was like either in black or in um or in silver would actually be really nice too but overall pretty decent car the uh, next one we got for Matchbox is a 2016 Chevy Camaro Convertible. This one is in yellow. So let's take out a packaging and take a closer look at it. So after you take it out of packaging, it is a bright yellow car. It does have painted headlights on it and a Chevy logo on the front there. And then it has uh, five spoke rims. And it has painted on taillights and a Chevy logo on the back. And it has a license plate on it as well. Looks like an old school California license plate because it's black and yellow. 
but overall, pretty cool looking uh, convertible Cor or Camaro. I almost said Corvette. The uh, last one of this series is going to be a 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility. This has the Sheriff logo on the side. Let's take out the packaging, take a close look. When you take it out of packaging, you can see that it says Sheriff right on this side. It has a Sheriff logo and it has a Cooter Tiff County Sheriff's Department. It has the painted taillights on the back and the headlights on the side and the front. But when you look at the front, there's nothing painted in the front. So I don't know why Matchbox does that where they paint the headlights on the side, but they don't paint it in the front area. And the same thing in the back, too. They don't really bring the taillights wrapped around in the back, either. But other than that, very cool-looking uh, Ford Interceptor. It has a tail hook on the back, so you can pull the uh, wagons with it. And it has a push bar in the front, as well. Overall, pretty cool-looking matchbox. So that's all that I got from, from Target. So if you like what you see and you would like to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe for more. Till next time. Bye.